Hey guys, what's going on? It's Adrian Boysell with Adrian Graphics and Marketing. Welcome back to another video. I have some important information I wanna share that's gonna be super impactful when it comes to raising your prices as a graphic designer. Many of you guys are working for scraps. Many of you guys are having to compete against people overseas. In this video, I wanna give you some practical knowledge, some practical advice, things that I've used and implemented in my own business to help me raise my prices, attract better clients, and eliminate a lot of the nightmare clients or the bad clients, if you will. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. I'm gonna to teach you guys some really impactful stuff. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the set and get started. Let's go. So you probably came to this video because you're asking yourself, how can I go from charging $100, $200, or $20, 30 $40 an hour for graphic design work to these higher ticket, $1,000, $10,000, $100,000 packages? That's a loaded question. There's a lot that I need to cover with you on that but I wanna just give you some context by kind of telling you a little bit of my background story. I started doing design as a club flyer designer, charging $30 for a club flyer that would take me two to three hours for one flyer design. The impact that those club flyer designs had was turning out more people to these events. I had one in particular that I did that was a nightlife flyer that just happened to have two girls kissing on the front and that thing brought hundreds of people into these events for these bar and made them tens of thousands of dollars. And because of the impact that it made, my mentor, Larry, at the time, who was paying me this $30 to do these flyers, ended up saying, hey, I'm gonna give you more. I'm gonna pay you like $50. Or I think at the most, it was like $75 at that time. The impact of what I was doing for this bar compared to the value that my design brought to them, as it increased, I started earning more money. As my skills increased, as I was able to do these flyers no longer in two and a half or three hours, now down to an hour, the value of my skills increased and so did the value of my time and my hourly rate. As I continued to scale from there, my hourly rate went from doing an hourly rate to doing a flat rate because now that I know I can do a logo project in let's just say 10 hours from start to finish versus 50 hours when I first started, now I'm able to get that done a lot faster. I'm able to, able to help that business move a lot quicker. I'm able to raise my prices from the $100, $200 a logo now to where I had a $995 package in about 2016, 2015. And so my prices have come a long way over my 15 year career. And you have to learn and gain the skills and the experience first in order to be able to raise your prices. But more importantly, there are three things that I want you to walk away from this video to look at when it comes to raising your prices from where you are today to where you want to be. The first point that I want you to take away is to sell value and not time. You're pricing the client and not the job. The job that you're selling, whether it's a logo design, a vehicle wrap design, a web design, has a specific value to that business. But that value can dramatically change depending on the type of business. So if you're dealing with a smog shop that charges $50 for a smog and they only have $20 in profit, they're not gonna pay you thousands of dollars to design a logo. It's just not gonna happen. It's not in their budget. The value of that logo doesn't really mean a whole lot, especially if they're a brick and mortar, right? But now all of a sudden you get to a company like Louis Vuitton. If you take the Louis Vuitton logo and you put it onto a shirt or a purse or a bag, how much is that blank bag now worth? It goes from being worth whatever the materials are to all of a sudden being worth a lot more because of the Louis Vuitton logo that was created, that identity, that high-end brand. You can do the same thing with Nike, you can do the same thing with McDonald's. When you put a brand on something that has a significant value because of the amount of people that it reaches, there's a lot of things that come with that. So you really need to understand that you're selling the value versus selling time. What is the value? What does this logo actually mean to the business? The more important that brand is to that company, the higher the value is. There are companies like Virgin Airlines. If they wanted to rebrand their whole entire company, they have to change all their planes, they have to change all their signs, they have to change all their websites. That's millions of dollars worth of rebranding versus a plumbing company who's a single man, single operator. He may have to change his vehicle wraps, his business cards, his logo on his website and his URL, and that's about it. That's worth a few thousand bucks at best. So understanding the value that is associated with the different types of companies is very, very important. When you're sitting down with your client, I really want you to get a good assessment by asking the right questions, understanding what is most important to them in this decision. Is it price? Is it speed? Is it quality? Understanding those elements is gonna help you get a very good idea of where your client is and how much they value this logo project. If they don't value the logo project at all, and it's not something that you really wanna work on for a low price, 
then it may be something for them to just go on Fiverr or do something cheap like a $5, 10 $50, $100 logo if they're not willing to make the investment into their brand. If this is not a brand that they see growing and they're just gonna stay a one man, small mom and pop operator and their logo isn't a big deal to them, then this is probably not the type of client that you wanna take because you're gonna get paid scraps because it just doesn't mean a whole lot to them. So I'm just curious because I said that, what is the most that you've ever sold a logo design for? Drop a comment down below. I wanna know what's the most you've ever sold a logo or any graphic design piece. Maybe it's been a magazine, maybe it's been a brochure or a vehicle wrap design. I'm curious, what's the most you've ever sold a design for? And was it based on an hourly rate or was it based on a flat rate value price? The second point that I wanna share with you is these foundational pieces. Speed, quality, and price. You should tell your client to pick two. Out of these three things, what are the two most important things? Speed, quality, or price. When it comes to speed, the designer that has so much skill and so much experience that they can do this logo project in nine minutes or nine hours versus the person that takes nine years or 90 hours, the person that actually can do the job quicker is the one that brings more value to the business. So when you ask those questions and you find out what's most important to them, this is where you can start to navigate your price and understanding that speed increases your value, quality increases your value, and price also increases the perceived value that your customer sees. If I go to charge somebody $25,000 for a logo package for their home improvement company versus charging $5,000 for their package for their home improvement company, there's gonna be a few things that are gonna happen in that. The client that pays more for the logo design is going to have a higher perceived value of that logo and what that brand and his brand or her brand is worth. And so if you can raise the perceived value of that by putting a higher price tag, it's gonna allow you to do a few things. The first one, like we talked about, is getting it done faster. The second one is you're gonna be able to bring on more people into your team and collaborate on these projects and come up with way better ideas than you could do on your own. And this is super important. Being able to have collaborative ideas, collaborative meetings, and being in a team environment, the amount of work that you can provide, the volume of work, as well as the quality of work, is gonna go way up, and that goes to the quality point of what I'm saying. The third piece, and this is really important, as you start to charge more for these, you're gonna be able to attract even better designers. If I wanted to go hire an Aaron Draplin or a Chris Doe or, some, or a Paula Cher, there's no way I'm gonna be able to sell that project for less than 100 grand. I can't go bring on people like that on my team. Top talent requires top pay. People that are really good at their craft, that are very good at what they do, they require top level dollars. So if you wanna have the best talent in the world and you wanna have those people collaborating and you wanna get the project done very quickly, you gotta remember, this is gonna be a super high ticket project. And this is the direction that I'm going. Going from $30 an hour flyer or $30 flyer all the way up to a 10, 15, $20,000 branding project. This is the history and this is the trajectory that I've gone on and something that you really do have the possibility to do. Even if you're not the most talented designer, your job should be to go out there and find the most talented designers so that you can go serve clients on the highest level possible. And one of the ways I wanted to position this video differently was to give you the result and give you the gold nugget that you needed faster than everybody else and make it entertaining, make it fun and add more motion graphics into this. And so that is an opportunity to one, to make the quality better, but to show that I value your time. And by valuing your time and not making you sit through a 36 minute video and only making you sit through a 10 minute video, this is really gonna increase the value of this video compared to everybody else. And so this is a good example. So I'm curious, what do you value more? Is it quality? Is it speed? Or is it price? Inside your business, when you're doing business with people, what are the things that you look for? What's the number one priority for you? I wanna hear it, drop it down in the comments. The final point that I wanna make is it's important that as your skills continue to progress and get better as a creative, you start to learn more, you become a better business owner, I want you to start finding better clients. The way that you go from the $100 logo to the $100,000 logo or the million dollar logo is by you sharpening your ax, becoming a better leader, a better business owner, a better designer, and being able to offer more value in your presentation when you go to pitch. If you have a team of 100 people versus just being a solo person, the pricing is gonna be a completely different end of the spectrum. So you need to take that into consideration. So there are three questions in this that I want you to ask. Is the logo important to them? This isn't something you ask them, but this is something you wanna ask yourself. The person that's sitting in front of you, is this logo important to them? If they tell you price, the logo isn't very important to them. So you wanna ask those specific types of questions and say, hey, 
what's most important, quality, speed, or price. If they want speed, and they say quality and speed, and those are two most important things, then they should be expecting to pay a higher amount for that. The second thing I want you to take into consideration is knowing whether you're dealing with a new client or you're dealing with a well-established client. Brand new businesses don't typically have huge budgets and they're just trying to get up and running. And in my belief, I think done is better than perfect. You don't have to have the most world-changing brand in the very beginning. You look at the history of companies like Apple and Microsoft and all these different brands out there, they didn't start with the world's greatest logo, but they've evolved to that. So it's a process of evolving your brand and growing your brand over a period of time to what it can become. So done is better than perfect in the beginning. And so knowing whether you're dealing with a brand new mom and pop business versus a brand new startup Silicon Valley tech type of company or a well-established brand that needs to either create a new brand or they need to rebrand their current company. These are important pieces to know and that's gonna help you decide whether you're gonna be on the lower end of the spectrum or the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to pricing. The third and last point that I wanna make in this, and this is super important, I want you to listen closely. You need to be real with yourself and you need to be real with your clients, that transparency, that vulnerability. If you've only been in the game for six months, a year, two years, or a few years, short amount of time, you do not have the chops or the skills or the experience yet to go charge a hundred grand for the logo. You probably don't have the skills to have a big enough portfolio to charge thousands of dollars. So you need to build up enough experience, enough reputation, enough rapport, case studies, all these different things in order to ask and demand these higher prices. And the skills that you need don't just revolve around being a great designer. They revolve around you being a great communicator, being a great leader, being a great business owner, being a great delegator, delegator, right? These are all important pieces and skills that you need to sharpen in order to start asking for these higher prices. Do you have an office space? Are you doing your calls on Zoom? Are you doing them via phone, right? How you present your skill sets and the skill sets that you actually have today and the skill sets that I had at the beginning of my career to what I have now are completely different. So what I charge now is completely different. So just something you need to be really honest with about yourself is just know where you're at in your journey. Know that you are a beginner and it's okay to charge 500 bucks in the very beginning for a logo design. I don't want you to leave money on the table. I don't want you to undersell yourself, but I want you to focus on getting better clients, taking them through a better process and giving them a better final result. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, go check out the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. It's a private community. We're all growing personally and professionally together. This is my invitation to you. I'd love to have you there. Make sure you fill out all the questions or I can't let you in and I'll see you guys in there. God bless and until next time, keep looking up.